Hey guys, it's Swayzo. How you doing? If you thought the Roaring Twenties hype was fading away, you are wrong. I am sorry, I just downed a whole cup of coffee and I am... Woo! So today we are going to be styling a new wig into a scene wig for the Roaring Twenties. I think it's important. So if you are wanting to join in on the Roaring Twenties hype and shamelessly help to bring back the scene and emo style, if you want to live your full scene fantasy with some bright giant scene hair straight from 2007 without committing to changing up your real hair then wigs are a fantastic option for you. Wigs are great wonderful things that I love with a passion because you can literally just put one on and suddenly you have an entirely new look. You can change up your hair whenever you want to without the damage, without the upkeep. I would recommend getting a wig. I feel like I'm just trying to sell wigs to you right now. <laughs> anyway so today we're going to be styling this wig from Eva Hair which you can get through the link in the description below into the scene hair of my dreams. So without further ado let's get straight into styling this wig. It's nice and thick so we should be able to get some pretty decent volume out of it. And my hair keeps going gappy. I don't miss that from my scene phase. So we need a wig cap. I hope that worked. <laughs> so I'm going to quickly cut the lace on this. I'm not going to go too in depth. Really all I'm going to do is cut the lace as close to the hairline as possible and that's really it and then put it on my head. So now that we have got the wig on, it's time to completely wreck it <laughs> with scissors. I am going to change it. So I'm just going to pull the hair over to begin with and kind of just brush it over to the side. It did arrive obviously in that middle parting so it might take a little bit of brushing through to make it stay on that side. <laughs> and try to get a gauge of where I want it. This can be kind of messy work, just so you know. <laughs> Now that I've got the hair, I think mostly where I want it, we're going to focus mostly on the fringe area because obviously this could do with a trim. So at first, this is probably going to look like a mess. It does all come together later on when we're kind of back combing and like kind of putting things in place. For now, we're just going to be roughly chopping, cutting a sort of gradient in the fringe and then we will work from there. <laughs> So I'm just going to be chopping and I don't want to cut off too much at this point because, you know, obviously you can cut it to be shorter if it's too long, but if you cut it too short, there's no going back. So that could do with being a bit shorter, so... So now that we've cut like the majority of the length off, it's now <laughs> obviously not ideal like this. What I like to do to get my wigs to stay in place in terms of the fringe is to just back comb it at the top here and it really helps to kind of stick it all together. You're kind of making tiny knots for the hair to kind of interlock I guess and it really helps to make things stay in place. And back combing is obviously going to be a big thing later on when we're styling the rest of the wig. We're just trying to sort of put everything roughly where we want it to be. And this does tend to take quite a bit of back combing so I'm sorry if this is like triggering to anyone knowing that this is not a cheap wig and I'm just wrecking it right now. This is an important step. Okay I'm gonna cut this bit because it is a bit too long it's kind of getting in the way so. The good thing is I like really choppy scene hair so I don't have to worry too much about being too neat. So I'm just kind of cutting in some shorter layers while doing this as well. Again, mostly just roughly doing it. I will neaten it up a little bit later on. And I also like to make a gradient right at the front here on both sides. So while I'm just cutting in some layers, how about you guys write in the comments some of your most memorable moments from your scene phase and emo phase? If you had one, what is something that really made your scene phase a scene phase? <laughs> For the majority of my like sort of scene emo phase, I think I definitely did lean more on the emo spectrum and something that really solidified my emo-ness was My Chemical Romance because of course it was. I remember when I went to see them for the first time in 2010, it was the 23rd of October 2010 I went to see them in London at Hammersmith Apollo for getting ready for their new album and on the train ride there I wrote MCR all over my arms and my hands like I just took a biro pen and wrote MCR all over which looking back now is a little bit obsessive and a little bit a little bit much, a little bit extra, but I mean, it was definitely one of the best days of my life. I have pictures from that day framed because it was a very special day for me. I am struggling to get this to stay. I might need to use some hairspray or some heat. I mean, that does look kind of cool, maybe? I don't know. I think I'm gonna take some more hair from the side, kind of cut that a little bit, getting ready for the, you know, the side whooshy part. <laughs> 
I realised that me doing this might be painful to watch, and if that is the case, I am very sorry. <laughs> I know this looks insane, but it, I promise it will look better at the end. I hope, at least. Otherwise, I will have made a huge mistake. We are getting somewhere. It is turning out a little bit differently to how I intended it to. I think it should still be fine. We just need to do a little bit more trimming. I don't really know how to describe, like this sort of trimming process. It's really just finding parts of it, just kind of taking pieces and seeing like, does it need to be shorter? I feel like there are a few different kind of variations of scene hair. And this is turning out to be something more, like at the moment at least, it looks like it's leaning more towards the 2011 Tumblr sort of scene hair. I think scene hair did kind of evolve to look a little bit different. Like there are different variations of it that I've noticed. This definitely feels a lot more 2011 to me. I hope that makes sense. I guess in that sense, I am kind of doing more the sort of thing that I wanted back in 2011. So just chopping some more layers. I realise I am cutting off a lot of hair, but it's worth it in the end. I think it's starting to come together, so I'm excited to see what it looks like at the end. Doing this really is just kind of eyeballing it, just making little adjustments as you go. My 14 year old self would be having a field day right now. <laughs> Honestly, I find it really therapeutic, cutting wigs. I know some people might find it more stressful and scary, but I don't know, there's just something about it. I mean, I always like to cutting my real hair and like styling it. I'm just gonna brush through it a little bit just so I don't get lost and I can see the layers more clearly. I will return to the fringe area. I'm just kind of getting everything to roughly look. Oh, <laughs> I just threw my hairbrush. I think I wanna trim this a little bit more. Be careful about not getting synthetic hair in your eyes, by the way, because that, that is not fun. I can't wait to show you the pile of synthetic hair on the floor right now. <laughs> so another question for you for the comments. What is your emo anthem? I would find it very difficult to just pick one. Obviously anything by Micah McRomance. Um, maybe Famous Last Words. Like in terms of the singles, like the more well-known bigger ones, I think that would be my favourite one. I definitely prefer Famous Last Words to Welcome to the Black Parade. I don't know if that's an unpopular opinion. But also the old Escape the Fate songs. Oh, I love that album so much. I still listen to that regularly. And Flyleaf as well, they were definitely, and um, honestly still are, one of my favourite bands. And also obviously Evanescence. I grew up with Evanescence. I also grew up listening to Linkin Park. I mean, considering I literally grew up on all of these amazing emo bands, it is no surprise that I was destined to turn out to be, you know, to have a scene and emo phase. These days I tend to embrace just all different styles. Um, obviously revisiting this style, which has been super fun. I obviously do like my pink pastel sort of looks as well, but I also like alternative looks like I've just I've learned to embrace all sorts of different styles I love so many that I I feel like I would be limiting myself so much if I just stuck to one style People might think that I should just pick one style and stick to it and that I'm just constantly having an identity crisis But I've just learned that I like different styles I think it's worth enjoying all of them rather than just putting myself in a box of just one style Obviously if you like just sticking to one style that is completely fine at the same time if you like different styles as as long as you're looking how you want to look, that's really all there is to it. Anyway, back to wig styling. <laughs> I don't think we have much more to do, just to kind of neaten things up and use some hairspray to get things to stay where I want them. But yeah, we are reaching the end, I think. This hasn't really taken as long as I thought it would. I don't know how long this video is gonna be. The good thing about having such a thick, dense wig is like, look at all of that volume. Oh my god. I can finally have my hair being as big as I always wished it would go. I'm also loving how it looks with the dark roots, but I always do, so. I'm gonna spray it a little bit with some dry shampoo to try and make it a little bit less shiny, give it some more human-like texture. I'm now going to use some hairspray. I'm using the Got To Be Glued hairspray. So I'm just going to make sure that the fringe is right. Uh, actually, I'm going to cut this a little bit more. I think we are pretty much 
done. Hairspray is definitely helping this stay in place right now. <laughs> and so, here is the finished product. This is all the hair that I chopped off, by the way. <laughs> here we are, folks. Ready? to return to my space. <laughs> I am honestly super happy with how this turned out. I could make this quite a bit bigger if I wanted to, but I don't, like, I feel like this is a good volume. This wig has a lot of hair in it. I really like it though, and I hope you like it too. If you don't, that's fine, I guess, but um, just please don't be rude about it. But I really like it. So yeah, I guess that's really it. Uh, happy roaring 20s. Well, I am gonna go listen to some Like I'm a Gromance, Escape the Fate, maybe a little bit of Pierce the Veil, maybe head over to Tumblr and reblog some fisheye photography of monster cans and skateboards. The good old 2011 Tumblr days. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video or maybe found it useful. Let's do a quick before and after. So this was the wig before and this is the wig now. I like the wig now personally. If you would like to follow my other social medias, my Instagram is Swayzo-chan and my Twitter is Swayzo-chan with an extra N at the end. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave it a roaring like and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and don't forget to click the little notification bell to be notified whenever I upload a new video. Links also to my Twitch and my Patreon in the description as well if that's something that you are interested in. If not, that is okay. I hope you have a wonderful day and I shall see you guys in the next video. Raw XD XD. Bye. <laughs>